when there's a, a soloist, someone that you're supporting and accompanying, I think that's the, that's the key word is support. Um, you have to really be listening. You can't veer off into your own thing because everything that you play has the potential to change the context of the moment for the soloist who is expressing themselves, who is telling their story. If, um, as an accompanist, you're too submissive, then it doesn't allow the, uh, uh, the kind of inspiration or the, the feeling of in the moment that the, uh, the soloist needs. Mm -hmm. A soloist, uh, to me, is, is always um, a singer, always a vocalist. The persons that are accompanying that soloist need to have a sense of anticipation, don't you think? I do. Mm -hmm. Of where the soloist is going, but also sort of like laying the carpet in front so that the soloist can land where they want to land. Mm -hmm. It's like a conversation. It's a conversation. And the best conversations are when you get that even the person who initiated the conversation knows that the person who's listening is really listening. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in anticipation of what the person's about to say, there'll be a look on their face or there'll be an expression that'll give this person speaking the idea, ah, I'm getting through. Mm -hmm. And I equate that to what you're saying in mm -hmm. terms of finding those places to, to, to not lay back, but to also in, uh, inspire, to take mm -hmm. your idea mm -hmm. and, and say, yeah, I understand. Right. Right. And to be able to do something that allows for it to continue to go in the direction that you want it to go. So in order for this to happen, I believe that there has to be a few things happening in the, the, um, the moment uh, in the life of each player. And that is an empathy, but also a fearlessness. Because the great thing about this music um, we call jazz, it's not programmed. We're not playing a program. So if, if in the role of, of supporter, um, you can, can create or lend to uh, uh, not only an idea that the soloist has, but you can do something that sends the soloists somewhere they didn't even think they were going, right? Right. And that's the excitement of it. And this music without the excitement has lost its raison d'etre, don't you think? I think so. I also think that there's something to be said for, um, that's why a certain familiarity with the person that you're playing is helpful. It does help. Because if you know a person and you've listened to their music or you know their compositional uh, stylistic tendencies mm. or the kinds of things they like, the kind of chords that they respond to or, or whatever, it makes for a more interesting conversation mm. because you're not afraid. Neither mm. one is afraid to try something. Mm -hmm. And I think this music is really dependent upon everybody's participation mm -hmm. in terms of trying things, knowing that the people you're playing with they got, they've got you, they, right, they, they right, understand, or right. will help support you. Not only will I lead you, but I got your back. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. and all at the same time. Right, right. 